After many and lengthy problems with the electronics of my self-built pulse EDM, according to Ben Fleming, I finally get the desired good results and a stable burn with very low electrode wear. But before I had to fix some things. First, the two switching transistors were defective. In addition, two protection diodes were also broken, which undetected directly killed the two newly soldered transistors. It all sounds simple, but finding the bugs was not easy. To find these er errors, I needed a lot of help from the electronics forum microcontroller.net and better measuring instruments. With the new oscilloscope, I could also check the duty cycle if the very important on and off times were controlled correctly. Finally, systematic test series could be carried out to find the best settings with various parameters in order to achieve a good and fast EDM burn with as little el electrode wear as possible. Here I quickly noticed that the temporary heat sinks of the power resistors were not sufficient and became very hot at high powers and long on time. And long on times are the key to low electrode wear. A new heat sink was built that can quickly dissipate heat with its active fan. Now we could continue and the results were very good. A very fast, powerful and stable burn with very low electrode wear down to 1% with a copper electrode versus 1.4571 stainless steel workpiece was now possible. The old resistor capacitor EDM had many times the electrode wear in comparison. This is really a different level and with it I can quickly, reliably and precisely make the slots for my Stirling engine heater heads and coolers with only a few electrodes from inexpensive copper. Now I'm waiting for some components for the new dielectric cleaning and flushing and hopefully soon I will be able to report about raising power of the Stirling engines again. This EDM adventure was really educational, challenging and exciting for me. But until I achieved the desired results it was a lot of work, especially since I have very little time for my workshop for a long time. Thanks for watching and as always I would be very happy for any comments or suggestions.